All right. Cares and Don be dope. <laughs> Episode 16.5? Yeah, at least. All right. You want to tell them or you want me to tell them? You go ahead. All right. So here's what happened. I know a lot of you niggas who listened to this heard the last two episodes. And uh, it was a little muffled. Something was off. And I knew that. I knew it. I even said it on Facebook when I posted it. I'm like, something's a little off. My bad. I'll figure it out. And we thought we figured it out because what we hear right now sounds perfect. Right, D? Right. And so we had a, we just had a great, great fucking podcast. It was a good, deep yeah, thought. It was, it was good. It was good. It was, just, it was real and it was good, right? Mm-hmm. And then you know me. Every time what I do, I always stop it and I, I listen to it. It didn't sound good enough. I'm like, it was better than the last couple. Yeah. And so, you know, maybe we can consider still putting it out, whatever. Maybe some bonus content. Yeah. But something, something was off. I figured out what it was in one button. One button. It's been fucked up for like two, three episodes. So I know the people who fuck with me are like, nigga, all of a sudden you're fucking, all of a sudden you're, uh. Your quality is just trash. And I'm like, no, I ain't. I, I I spent the money on this shit yeah. to make it real, but what's going on? This is gonna be better for a fact. Yeah, we figured it out. We and if it still ain't, if it still ain't, <laughs> I gotta just kill myself. <laughs> or you can care as none, baby. No, I guess I could care as none. So, uh, ah, boy, the coronavirus is <laughs> shit is real. You know what's fucked up? We just had a, a whole talk, and it kind of got off the coronavirus a little bit because mm-hmm. we got to something a little bit deeper. But that's what we all going through, right? That's the, that's the thing. That's the topic. Right. That's the topic that's of the, the topic, century. Right? <laughs> and uh, I believe what, what, what the point I was trying to make in the last one was that a lot of people listening to this right now are feeling what I believe that I'm feeling, I do believe, even though I'm saying that for the art of the conversation, I do believe I can get past it further, but for the art of the conversation, I understand that that's a thing right now. You know, you got to think, you know, something you got to deal with. And right. I just probably, I'm putting emphasis on it for the art, for the sake of the conversation. Right. But like in my everyday life, I don't think I'd be going so ham that it'd be like a, a thing to figure out. Like, no, <laughs> it is what it is. You figure it out. But I do think that a lot of people listening to this, like, it's just got real. This is the most real that it's been in our lifetimes as far as at least. Yeah. What do you think? You think it's been the most real right now? I mean, it's a pandemic. It's a, yeah. So it's it's one of those waves. It's just one of those waves in human history that's going to be in the books. Yeah. They're like, this is one of the, you, what you're saying. So what you're saying is like. This is what you hear about. Yeah, this is the shit you hear about right here. Like, oh, damn, the, pa- the pandemic the of 2020, pain. right? Well, it, and, it, and like, I think where we even got to it was how big is it versus something, you know what I'm saying? Because technically it's not even killing as many people as something that's killing people on the regular. Whereas the Black Plague that we learned about was killing millions in a, in a week, you know what I mean? So, right, right. so I, I think that's what we get to, too, which is, uh, you know. Well, and, and, I, and I was saying that, like, I'm a conspiracy theorist kind of kind of cat, right? You know, this is this is where my mind goes, you know, uh-huh. because I just personally and here's the reason why I just personally don't believe the shit that I see without thinking about it. And then what? And, and personally, when I see shit that I think about, oh excuse me, when I see shit on TV, whether it be on my phone, it used to be the TV. Now it's our phone. They control what you see on the phone now because mm-hmm. that's the new medium. At least in America, I, I I don't know about the rest of the world, but in America, what what do you think? How many people do you think fuck with a cell phone? Everybody, <laughs> right? You think most because you can you can damn near get one for free on Cricket, right? Right? You don't even got to be balling to have a cell phone. So, but they, I would imagine some higher ups control the media, right? Mm-hmm. Do you agree with that or no? Yeah, absolutely. So a lot of us are just seeing what you scroll, and even if you don't, even if you subconsciously say this is bullshit i think there's something uh, some of that that gets in you regardless of some people like for instance as a black so off topic when a black person sits in my section at work somehow and i notice it's fucked up my mind goes to i 
probably might not get a good tip. Mm -hmm. That's what whether I want to feel that way. Whether I, I, I know when I sit in, in someone's table, I don't want them thinking that. Because, and then the, the the truth is, you you will probably not feel that way when I'm done with you. Mm -hmm. I will give you a good tip, probably a better tip you've ever had from yeah. a black person. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> from a black shit. person. That's real shit. And but 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 as a black man, that's where my mind goes. Yeah. And it, here's, here's the shit. This is me being honest. And this is fucked up, but this is the truth. If I'm sitting down and then like five niggas walk up, my first thought is like, it's like, and it goes back to that Hollywoodism shit we were talking yeah. about that we've been. This, this 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 picture has been put in our heads, and we've been it's been we've been brainwashed, right? And it's it's fucking scary. It's, scary. it's scary. That is very scary. It's I think the the concept of <laughs> actually in this country, I think the concept of black people being like evil and all this other shit that you should fear is the craziest concept to me because it literally shifted in history. You know, throughout history, whereas before we're seeing this being you know very caring and mammies and you know. Thing, or you know things of those characters, you right. know things of those natures, I should say. So with the fact that we it are now the the enemy of everything. What do you think? The, how, what do you think changed the, the like what, what? Where do you? Believe it had that to started? because you you're, you're, you 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 we became people. Shit, in the eyes of mm, law. Mm. So once you're my competitor, I have to do what I have to do to make you seem like the the worst, not the best. Like when before right, it right. was like okay, I need you to seem like. Yes, I got a strong buck. You know what I'm saying? I got a lady that can do this. She can do that. But now, I don't. you a person, you a competitor to me, and I already had this racist, racist system. Why not target you? You know? Right, right, right. And that's a good point because I've, I've always said this. I've always said this, and I, and I believe this to my heart. I don't hate racist people because I kind of can see where their perspective could come from. So imagine everything you've ever known was this situation. Our people bring over some people that don't look like us and we run shit. They listen to what the fuck we say. Everything we've ever known is these niggas, they, they're not even people. They're savages. They don't speak our language. Don't forget, we're not educated at the time. Mm -hmm. We're just we're just living life too. And we're like, these fucking... Not to be ridiculous, but these goddamn <laughs> monkey gorilla ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? This is what niggas is thinking. So, and, and I can see where niggas is saying, and all of a sudden, oh, so some people got a good feeling about these people. So, you know what? The, the Everyone's saying, oh, you know what? They have rights too, but everything I've ever known says these rights. I remember when they were fucking talking like fucking gorillas and they didn't speak English, and I can see where the mind comes from. Yeah. So, the point I'm saying is, if the tables were flipped and the Africans went to America and then the, and then the, then they went back to Europe and then started saying, wait a minute, we got guns and shit and we can just do what the fuck we want to do for and however it went down. Yeah. Y'all coming with us and you can't do nothing about it. Mm -hmm. And we bring y'all back. I can see how our people would be in the same situation where white people would be in right now. Right. I really yeah. believe that. So I don't personally, I can't, I, and I think I'm further than this than I've ever been. And I'm not 100 percent there. I don't hate racist people because you were taught that. That's what you have been told. That's what your whole people knew from the beginning of their, you know, of their family. Right. And that's just a weird thought that we're that brainwashed. Oh yeah, we are. We are. We are. <laughs> Every thought. Every like all of it. Yeah. In, in, in the last podcast, and again, I apologize because <laughs> I'm fucking ridiculous. In, in the last, in the last podcast. I was we you we brought up uh the Hollywoodism. Yeah. In that video Ooh, you put we. me on and and I was saying or would you would you say that a lot of people know that Jews kind of own a lot of shit? Is that like the 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 it's stereotype? Like the, it's the stereotype but I don't think they understand how direct this shit is to the ho the concept of Hollywood. Going Hollywood, right, having right. a dream to make it in America. Like that whole shit is made by like Six Jews, <laughs> right? Six motherfuckers. Yeah, like six human beings. Six human beings that are who had the technology first. Yeah, who had the technology? They had the technology first. Went to Hollywood with it because they had beef with uh, Thomas Edison because he was mm, the, yeah. just shutting shit down. He was Thomas fucking Edison, like you know. But that was the nigga, right? <laughs> he right. was putting hits out on people, type of shit. Right, like he right, was right. the man. So, 
uh, but he was the one controlling the film industry in New York. So the people who weren't having a great time getting on in New York, which was a lot of Jewish population during that time, they were in a lot of Nickelodeons mm. during that time, right, which right. was like early film shit. So they were working a lot of those jobs. So they felt like they would get more opportunity elsewhere because Thomas Edison, he was only depicting a certain type of life. He was depicting Jews very racist in a racist manner and all, uh, every other type of uh, minority group, actually. Wait, wait, wait. So t- was Thomas Edison the first nigga that was on? He was the one that was dominating. He was the one with the. He was the one that was dominating the the industry as far as like the movie industry. Oh, so he was the big dick in the movie industry. Yeah. But then, so wait, wait. So maybe I'm. Maybe I just lost where. Where did the Jews become the niggas? When they got here, <laughs> or oh, throughout history. Oh, so you saying so? Thomas Edison had the movie game down pack first. Yeah. So he had. So all of the eyes. stuff that was okay. I'll say this. So like all the movies that were made before the, the Hollywood concept of Hollywood and that shit started before the Jews started making movies was made by white Protestants. So those are the people who were running the country. Those are the people who came from England. You know what I so mean? So they had the technology first. Right. The of second, like the movie technology. Right. 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 The movie industry was already popping, but the Jews they they took their opportunities and saw Hollywood and was like, we can just make our shit out here because it was kind of like a gold rush for land or that. You know what I mean? Right. Right. And so they just found some some dope ass locations and started you know making shit for themselves. And what was the thing about Hollywood itself that made it different, like the the land, the landscape of it? So what what the white Protestants uh, were pro- projecting were things like Birth of a Nation. You know, so it was more. Oh yeah, we we talked about we that talked too. about that too, right? So they were projecting more so of a, a concept where it was like the 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 white Protestant was always going to be the one that was that was presented to be the best person in the situation. What does okay? I know what white Protestant means, but I what mean, does it mean? That's just like that's just like people who identify as like America, America. You know, like I'm American. So white Protestant is those Americans, were those, like true. Those Americans? are the people who came from England. Those, so basically, the people who came from England are all they were like the first wave of Americans, the Pilgrims, all that stuff. And they, they called themselves very, like, Protestant. That's just the religion. You had Quakers, you had all that stuff, but that was like the most dominant as far as like the government and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So if you look back through probably even presidents, I can't. Don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure they were like white Protestants, if, you, if I'm not mistaken. I'm on Google. Hey Google, define white Protestant. According to Wikipedia, white Anglo-Saxon Protestants are a social group of white Protestants in the United States, often of British descent, and typically wealthy and well-connected. The, the government. Mm. The presidents. So, yeah. You know what I mean? So those were the people. And Thomas Edison. So Europeans who had it popping. Thomas Edison. Right, right, he invented right, electricity right. type shit. Right. You know what so, I mean? Yeah, so he, he had he, it popping. Yeah, yeah, he was good. So he was dominating the, mu- the movie industry in New York. So when they went, went out there, you figure these people were minorities. So all of the shit that they depicted in their movies was stuff about making it big, having a dream. They were coming from poverty, war-torn countries in um, Eastern Europe, and they had this vision of shit. So we got this concept of like you can the whole concept of I came to America with nothing, right. and now I'm like the con- the fact that we think we can go to Hollywood and make it crazy big is a Jewish concept of them fleeing Eastern Europe and going to America. But what we're saying is Thomas Edison shit, who who was in tr- control of the the movie thing back then, he wasn't on that. That wasn't no, his, his vision. stuff because like, that's wasn't his experience. His he experience already was, had his the experiences. Of, I'm American. I he got the keys. He came from the pop. Right. So the Jews who fit, ended up being the big dicks of it right. were the ones that this is the story that we telling y'all because this is what we went through as a people. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? And this is a conceptual thing, and too. it makes sense because it, it, it. We were talking about this when we watched it after the last podcast. That's global now. Yeah, it's global. It's a culture that's, that's global not just now. American. No, no. that TV they, they they hit it. They hit TV like crazy. And, and because they presented it was so- a different market, though they presented something that was like full and like the stories we even saw. They were all uh, outsider story. Outsiders making it big. You know what I mean. Like, and there was like, deeper concepts in there. It got even deeper with some with some other shit. But uh, but at the end of the day, it was you. You can come here and you had a fucking dream. And, and that had like never been a. Dream. That was it. Was kind of concept in America because we had a lot of the land grabs and stuff like that in early history. But this was like an actual visual of what you think America could be. This is the first. This is the first representation of like a White House picket fence or white not White House. Uh, house with a white picket fence, right, chocolate right, Labrador. Right, right. All the shit that we sing about, and it's and still and it's and still early sh- in the in the in the movie experience. So this is still early, and the only thing before that was the radio, right? And this is within the I don't know the years specifically, but right. I would imagine 10, 20, 15 years, mm-hmm. where 
people are looking on the TV like, wow, this is the this the TV box. Yeah. Look at and this. And you gotta figure it, it this just, is when they, they people had to all have TVs though. You know what I mean? Because you know when something first come out, not everybody gonna yeah, have it. Only the ball. So got this right. is what I'm talking about when everybody when got a TV. So everybody's a TV, locked into this everyone. Shit. Yeah, that's the, so that's, that's when, when it became the American Dream. Yes. So niggas had TVs before the American Dream concept, but not enough niggas had it to make it the American actual right. concept. Right. That's when it gets a hold of people. And it's crazy because and it becomes a religion. And wait, and we're and we're already not already, but we're still like as a people as a whole. It's it's that's kind of what we still fuck with. No, that's Celebrity. all of what we still. To fuck be with. honest, this whole Corona shit. Yeah. What did niggas? To me, from <laughs> what I can gather, and don't keep in mind, I'm a social media guy. I'm yeah. on it. I see pop culture. Bam, bam. To me, it was when fucking uh, old boy got it. Tom Hanks. Yeah. I felt like you heard about it. You first of all, we all kind of heard about it in the China a little bit. We all heard a little bit. We was like, oh damn, they got some real shit popping off. But then it was like, whatever. We still out here living, you know. Da da da. And then niggas was like, hey, this shit might have came over here. And then niggas was like, oh damn, it might be over here a little bit, but whatever. Yeah. But then it didn't get, it didn't get, get it. at I least what I can get until Tom Hanks got. Mm-hmm. It. And then you know what? Charlemagne the God, mm-hmm. he posted on his shit. This is the problem with America is that we kind of only give, uh, which kind of goes into Hollywood, is we only give validity to the celebrity. Yeah. And this, and the fact, and because we all have been brainwashed, it's like our to grandmother, think that they're just whoa, right? And, and and it makes sense because our great 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 Grand whoever uh, oh, they are deep in this shit. They're deep they in it feeding us because they shit. saw it when they were seven, right, eight, right. six, or whatever the fuck how old they was. Right. And so um, imagine being a kid. Mm-hmm. Imagine being a kid. You look up and you see Santa Claus, right? Right. And that's all you've ever known, and no one's ever told you that Santa Claus wasn't real, right? So all you've ever known is so imagine you see a sixty-two year old like nigga Santa Claus, nigga Santa Claus, <laughs> right? Okay, you know, yeah, real yeah. talk. But you would believe in your heart if you teach your children that. And then they believe it, and then they teach their children that you good, right? So it, it makes sense why niggas is brainwashed, you know, because them niggas wasn't told that there was another way. That's the cool thing about being alive now is there is another way, and we kind of got into that a little bit too, like we having a difference of opinion. So, so what I said in the last podcast, and again, I apologize, but cares none. One of the topics that I was I was saying was that what's hard about being me is that I see both sides of every coin of every coin too much. And it's hard for me to take a for the sake of the conversation. It's hard for me to take a an a definitive angle to a, 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 a situation. So, for instance, part of me thinks some of this Corona shit. Could be some conspiracy, something's going on, somebody planted the type shit, whatever. But then part of me says, no, nah, nigga, niggas is eating bats in China <laughs> and bats get sick and there's some shit, you I know. Think, I think maybe what may be comfortable for you and maybe this is what I find comfort in because I do see both of every size too, um, just like yourself. But maybe it is both things. Mm. Like two things couldn't be Yeah, right. because I don't believe everything the fucking media tells me. I know who that's ran. I know what that's ran by. That's ran by people. And what I know is people run yeah, what their right. vision is, their you know. Agenda, so right. but be, by me knowing that, like, you know Which I, goes to your point that uh, Hollywood started with six niggas. Yeah. And it was they were humans. And, and by, had, by, but let's be specific about this too. I mean Paramount, twentieth century Fox. You know, uh, uh, well, twentieth century Fox actually ended up getting together. It was, it yeah, was they Fox. ended up getting together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but it was, it was all the big like the the names that you know, the MGMs, yeah, you know, yeah. things like that. Yeah, like yeah. those those people were the ones who created the whole vision of this shit. So let's talk. Oh, I know we did last one. Let's talk about what, how many? Okay, let me ask you this. this is what I asked you last time. How many people know what birth of a nation is? Right. What percentage? So I asked you. I was like. <laughs> What percentage of the people listening yeah, to this yeah, right yeah, now, yeah, yeah. and then if you may make it bigger, Americans yeah. know what Birth of a Nation the movie was. Right. I don't believe it's. it's and I said five percent. You was like made way to, less. Yeah, way less. It's made to, for you to not know that though. You know. So oh, sorry, we didn't talk about this last time. You're saying not? that it was made. Yeah. It was specifically made for most people to not know. There's a okay. I'll say this. And that's, I'm glad, I'm glad you said that. It's made for people to not know because there's a reason why we think of black people as bad right now and white people as good. So it's a, it's a reason for us personally as black people to not know. 
it's a re- I feel like it's a reason more for white people to not know. Mm. Okay. Okay, nigga. Because you have to talk see your as, shit, nigga. Yeah, you have to see yourself as good as all time if you're dominant, no matter if you're doing bad. So even if you had slavery and you know that was fucked up and you have movies like Birth of a Nation and you know that was fucked up, delete that history. Why y'all still talking about it? Don't talk about that. That wasn't even part of our yeah, history. My, that doesn't my, affect us my, as much as it affects us today. That's a good point. You have to if you're the, if you're the dominant one, you have to see yourself in a great light. So it, that's what's funny to me how black people are like we don't want, you're slaves. So how the hell are we bad in any way, shape, or form? Oh, that's such a good point. How the fuck are we the shitty motherfuckers how when y'all was running all? shit? You you literally I I don't get that. I but do no, I get it. So, I'm sorry. I do get it. it, it it's just. It's just about getting it. It's so what I can say it. is, okay, so, okay, again, this is my problem. So look at me. Maybe it's not a problem. It's just devil's advocate. You know, I just. That would I think be a great w- hashtag for you or something you need to do with devil's yeah. advocate. That would be really good for you. Wait, well, because I, I try to see both sides. So when, whenever I have a point, my again. first thought is to find a devil's advocate, even if I agree with the first point. So my, my first thought I is. I love it. I see, I agree, I see that. I, see I that. agree. I agree. But then. Where could the other? That's that conversational side in you. you want right. To I'm like, oh shit. What yeah. are you talking about? You know so let me hear that one though. Your uh, devil's gap. So I can understand one. where somebody in those times, let's say you was just some nigga in Alabama, and you ain't got nothing to do. You never voted before. You was a regular nigga. You had a couple slaves. Everything you've known is nigga. You know, motherfuckers got slaves. These dark skinned people that didn't look like us. My grandfather's grandfather had four of them, and I've ever known. We, I'm nice to them because they seem like people. Again, devil's advocate. And but at the end of the day, they've always been less than us because that's all I've ever known. That's all I've ever known. My great grandfather's cousin had a plantation, and he had 18 of these motherfuckers working for him. So and, and they, yes sir, balls or whatever. They just weren't like us. They were different from us, and we clearly were running shit. We were the dominant ones. I can see how those people for sure. who was who've always had this life and then one day the government was like, Yeah, we finna start not doing that. These niggas is not what y'all think. They're human beings, right? According to so you just that nigga in Alabama who's this way you don't even own slaves, but you just know that's what you've always known is that n- these these niggas ain't us. Right. They're different from us. <laughs> Only because that's what you were taught. Not that you're a shitty human. That's what you knew since you was six. Since you was three. You're not a bad person. This is what I've known. If you ask me about ants right now, ants right now, I would argue that we are dominant over ants. If we saw an ant and we stepped on it personally, I wouldn't say you're a shitty human being. I would say this is the way I've always known. They're not you. That you're a human being and they're an ant. There's a difference. Mm-hmm. Some people probably believe in that. I would I would argue. So I can see how somebody would be like Wait a minute, the government's trying to tell me and my people, I know what the fuck's going on. The, I don't give a fuck what the government say. These is niggas. Mm-hmm. These are some niggas. <laughs> Sorry, you know what I'm saying? Right. And so then I could be like, nah, nope. I don't give a fuck what the government tell us. I know what I know because that this is the way it's always motherfucking been. Whether it's right or wrong, that's not what I'm arguing. I can see how someone could be like, nah, nope. Fuck that. These ain't niggas. These ain't people. Yeah. These is niggas. And I don't think the problem is that about seeing it. I think it's about um, because we can all see that clearly every day, all no, the time. I, I should no, say. my point is, is to you that's common sense. Oh, this is a good point. Well, but, oh. That's common sense to you. To you, it's like everyone. How could you not see that we're humans, right? How could you? No, not no, see that's that? not what I was saying. That's not oh, what I was talking fault, about. My fault, my fault. No, I was. Hold on, let me make sure I was understand what I was saying. Um, what was I saying now? We was we were saying. No, I, I almost had it. Um, so, hold on, let me just continue. I'm no, sorry. we were saying that, well, what I was saying is I could see how some people... Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I got my thought now. That's okay. Yeah. So, I think that he... Okay, and a, per- a person in that situation, the person you would describe, right? The problem is he's still the dominant one. Yes. He's still thinking in a dominant manner. So, whether it's a, like, it's still... It's still... My only question is, is he just inherently a piece of shit because that's what he's always taught that he was the dominant? No, but what Where, okay, so is that that's a different ball game then. I'm so are you talking about if he's a piece of shit or not? No, are we talking point, about dominance and flipping that and birth and No, uh, okay, so maybe we I'm getting a little bit lost in what the actual original point was, but at the end of the day, uh-huh. I don't necessarily blame people for a, a racism today because of birth of a nation because that, when that came out that is what molded everyone's thought at the time uh-huh. the people who were capable 
who had the the wherewithal, not the wherewithal, but who had the means, the Protestants who could afford TV at the time. And let's just say it got to the point where everyone could kind of afford it, but you still couldn't be poverty. So most of the people could to watch Birth of a Nation. Yeah. And this is this is what they saw. This is the only thing they saw. This is all I know is, oh shit. These niggas is out here. Who is these savages niggas? You know, and then I can say, like, no, nah, they ain't not us. So now we're changing how we feel about them. Which is a different thing than what we're talking about because what you're saying is it changed at one point. It was people were scared of blacks versus before they were the dominant. Yeah. But what I'm saying now is, but it's still a dominant thing, though. Like it's still a dominant concept. It's still like it, it's it's a concept of a, I'm still different to you. But how can I be different to you if I'm gonna be bad? I can't be the bad one. I got to be the good one always. So I have to make you bad. You say some people don't. Do you think some people assume that they're bad? I I I know that just like you said, you don't think a black person is gonna do something, or you think if you see a group of black people, I know that that's in a lot of people's minds. And I know that that's something that's built in this country to think that way. And it wasn't always that way. Mm. But because you have to be in power and you have to be the good one, somebody else who's mm. different to you has to be not good and seen as this and seen as, you know what I mean? So that's right. why it's a trickle down effect on that one. Yeah. Yeah. And it, but so it, even if you're doing something bad, as long as your people and, the, and you're the dominant one feel like it's good, such as slavery, right, right. then it doesn't matter. But as soon as that changes and that's a bad thing, I still have to be good, though. I still have to be the good one because I'm still a dominant one. Yeah, but but uh, again, going to where my problem is, I can see the people who don't see that. I don't necessarily think that they're just inherently bad people. No, I don't think people are bad. I just think that when you're in dominant, when you're in power, like your job is to keep yourself in power mentally, right, right. physically, yeah, everything. You, you want to be on top of your. You want to be on right, top, right. so you have to the have caveman the caveman shit, right, right? Right, you right. have to have the concept of whatever, whoever you deem is different than you. And right. trust me, we just got on this all equal shit. Very recently. Within, what, 50 years? So, like, segregation I, I, was still real right still, after that. Like, right, you know what right, I mean? And right. it still is, but it's it was still right, very right, real. Like, right. that shit ain't just like, okay, no, slavery ended, no, now we all no. know. It's still... You know what I'm saying? It's still a great So, it was period, still a right. concept of we are all still very different and stuff, you know? So, it, it just... It took a lot more. Uh, so, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, see, yeah. See, yeah. This is how I know this podcast because we literally... We, this we, is we our bounce. Second, this is our second podcast, though, tonight. We bounce. That's why. And it's, it's, it's good thoughts. Yeah. White people. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I try to get there, man. We try to get there. It's important. Because it's super important. Y'all, and I think the white dialogue, people are super important. Oh, first of all, to me, super everybody's important. important. Yeah, no, of course. Absolutely. No, my point is I'm trying to get to the... Okay, let me... reason. I bring, here's the reason why this is the thought to me. My ex-girlfriend, again, I literally bring her up every goddamn episode, Bridget. I about to say, what's up, Bridget? No, but, and I think I might have said this before, but I've been drinking. This is the second, you know, you know we yeah. trash. They got no heroin. You know this. This. They got coronavirus. We about to die. Shit is real. No. But I remember her telling me with some shit. I, it was right around the time, and I probably said this, and I apologize if I already said this, but I'm going to say it again, because care is not. Care is not at all. It was like right when the cops killing blacks was like in was the thing that they were talking about in the media, right? That was, and again, it's probably still happening every day, but that ain't going to take over coronavirus at the moment. So again, they go back to our original point in the last episode or the last podcast, the media kind of dictates what we talk about as a people. But anyways, it was right around when that shit was big. When, when fucking Ferguson was Ferguson happening. Was it was, you know on. what I'm saying? It was like, what was that? 16? I don't know. I don't know, but it was right around there. It was a few years back, a couple years back when it was like, Everyone was saying, niggas is getting shot, uh, uh, unarmed niggas is getting shot by fucking nigga police. You know what I'm saying? That's what was really going. That was the, that was the thing. And I'll never forget my white girlfriend, very white, very, very Protestant white girlfriend, <laughs> ex-girlfriend at the time. Shout out Bridget. She probably listened to this. Shout out Bridget. That was my homegirl. I'll out. never forget. She was like, because I remember she, I was like, uh, we were talking about it, you know, and she was actually very educated, very dope woman. Yeah, she was. She was. She was cool to talk to. Her. And she, and I was like, ain't this fucked up? Da, 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 da. And I was like, it's kind of fucked up. You know? And she was like, she started crying. And I'm like, nigga, why are you crying now? <laughs> Wait, why are you crying, nigga? You crying, nigga? You should be fucking, fucking. You didn't start, march? That's what I'm saying, nigga. Like, I should be crying, right? I was, I, she was like, but I didn't say that, but that's what I'm like. No, yeah, what's good? Yesterday. What's that's good? What's and she was like, and this is dead serious. She said this. She goes, Chris, I didn't ask for none of this. Like, I, I see what the fuck that is. This is trash. I, I, this, I don't know in my own words, but this is what I heard you say. This is fucked up. 
And it's fucked up because I'm now attached to this because of my skin color. She was like, that's that's not cool because I didn't I didn't ask for this. I th- when I see that shit, that shit is trash. Fuck that. But then it's like, and I feel bad because I know how you feel. And it's, talking as her, I know how you feel. So like, you know, and, and I, so, and this is an unpopular opinion, but fuck it. Because it gets cool to shit on the shit that's un, that's not the, the, it's cool to shit on the popular, the unpopular opinion. Not every white motherfucker, most white motherfuckers, I don't think are racist. Right. Like the, I, I would argue. I would think so too, of course. The overwhelming majority of people, 40 and down, yeah, 45 think- and down, I feel like it's the old niggas and even the few niggas that is racist, younger than 60, 70 or whatever. They get a little bit that they're unlearning. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's racism is a thing where this country has an interesting history of racism. So racism it was built on racism. So it's all about racism from from the because jump. Because that's how we built them off. But that's the thing. Our country is built on racism. So yeah. it, it, for a country to be built on racism, it doesn't even necessarily at this point require racist people. The system is racist. Because this is how it was started. That's just how it was started. It was started that way. And it's, it's, it's trickle. And the people, a lot of times the people running it, are the one they? It's like a once I have it, why would I give yeah. it? Why would and you I know under, what I mean? But but don't you understand? Yes, I understand it. But as a, I mean, that doesn't mean that I, as a minority, I still have, have to be the right, one who right, came yeah, from a right. different way. I came from a different boat. And you could be like, yes, nigga, I see what you're saying, but that's fucked up. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? I just have to. That's what I meant last time on the podcast. I was like, I have to think more. Nigga, first of all, I I hope you don't think that I'm not trying to always think more. No, I'm always, no, you I'm, always thinking more. I'm so trying to think, but the problem with no, me I'm thinking s- more personally is that I, so as soon as I get to thinking more, I'm like, but but I can't just shit on your opinion because that's all you knew. If if I can't say that you're wrong, first of all, because I can't prove anything is right or wrong, and we talked about that. <laughs> that's my, it was such a great podcast if you didn't understand. Was, but, I still <laughs> might put keep, it out. Hey, I'm gonna have a fans only. It's gonna be the uh, no, only no, 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 fans. This is a mixtape. Oh, yeah, mixtape. Bring it, bring it. The mixtape be a little fucked up. Yeah, yeah. I, I should really do that. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Let's do a mixtape. That's fine. But I like I get real to the point where I like don't. Because to me, it's very obvious that you're a human being who has a life and a family and you fucking can think and you're smart and you're not yeah. a goddamn monkey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can cook me something. You're like a dope human who can, yeah, you add, can do anything. And you can add can vicious to the society. Yes. You're a very a reasonable fucking human being. Some niggas don't think that about you yeah. or me yeah. or Mexicans or women or fucking eight, or eight, you know, whoever. But I just... I, I maybe maybe I'm some Mother Teresa ass nigga I don't know but I'm really trying to get to the <laughs> and shout out to me <laughs> because I yeah but real talk though real talk I'm like that's I, a, I job, really yeah. fuck or how about this I'm closer to really fucking with another perspective even the ones that I believe deep in like I believe how I feel I feel like what I think is kind of dope because it's helped me be dope in my world I right? do good though. But I, I was like, man, what, but how do they know? And then what makes my shit better than yours? Just because it feels good for me? Because it's good for me? Mm-hmm. It's being blacks, not being slaves really works in my uh, benefit, right? Right? Hold on, say that again. Let me say it again. <laughs> Slavery not being a thing really works well in my benefit, personally, uh, yes, right? Yes, yes. Guess why? Because I'm a goddamn nigga, and I'm black, yeah. and I, you know what I'm saying? And I can see how that could be a thing. But... What if to them they're like, no, nah, everything's fucking up. It's the way it was. It's been this way since day one. I could see that. To me and you, that's ridiculous. Yeah. To some people, us not thinking that. How, how could you think that about yourself? Are you kidding me? Did you know what your great grandfather? My point is, is that I could see like how someone could think that. Whether I agree with it. So or not. are they thinking that out of ignorance though? Ah. Uh, and this is my problem. Is it ignorance? To me, yes, because how do you not know this? If you talk to me, then you would know, which is no. Like, but I would argue that they don't know. No, I'm no. I'm saying if you spoke to me and sat in a room with me for f- ten hours a week for the next three years, you would realize we're probably the same person, wanting the same shit in life. Mm-hmm. You know, we're just 
people who were born, didn't, we got we know we got to die. We got family. We got girls. We're men. We want to fuck. You right. know, you just deal with the same, <laughs> the so same thing. Yeah, so you beat your beat a little sometimes. Yeah. You want to, you want to do, and we have this. Like, oh damn, we, we have our own personal little shit. But at the end of the day, we kind of want the same shit. Yeah, right. If you and so I would argue anybody who sat down with me for a, a, an extended period of time would probably know that eventually yeah, for sure. But what? Are, there's a lot of people who've never had that. Still, still. In America, yeah, in America's pretty fucking uh, uh, melting pot. There's some people. There's some places in, in on, on all sides, not just whites. There's some people. Uh, there's some black people who have never probably seen a white person, yeah. and when they do, they've only seen it on the TV or the one. Well, I mean, I know the first 14 years of my life, I was. It was only like the only white people I encountered. It was this one dude. He was homeless and he collected cans. And he used to be around the neighborhood. Got good kids. He had good kids. <laughs> he had good bands. Turn some shit. No, nah, he had no bands. And then, man. and yeah. I don't, you never know. God damn it. I, I guess he was. Yeah, I guess. Good. <laughs> probably, yeah, that was, was a good. social experiment. Maybe he you was out know. there like Nick. I made four hundred million dollars <laughs> collecting cans for twenty eight nine years. I know, right? But uh, and then and then um, the teachers who had to be there because they were fresh out of college, they had to do your, like a two year bid at a Chicago public school. Right, right. You know what I mean? So to get placed in those type of schools. But other than that, I didn't grow up around white people or yeah. anybody different than, at all from like my first 14 years, really. You know what I'm saying? So it definitely exists in America where you don't you don't get people that encounter other people. And right. So is it just that they're now I guess the definition of ignorance is just not knowing. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Ignorance. So, I'm not saying you ignorant. Like, like you, I'm saying like literally like, ignorance is not you're knowing. Just, you're just not so knowing. that's what I'm saying. Do you you that's what I'm saying. I have to think more because you obviously are going to be ignorant if you feel that way in my opinion rather you be like, like if no, you don't I if you don't understand you. it if you if you really truly understood your your power and the dominant culture within america then you wouldn't have that opinion in my opinion if that's the case right but you're that's, that's so if you know that and you are if you know that shit and you still are like that then okay you you, you fucking you just a racist that, that, that's that's it you know what i mean but there's a lot of that's people that's a good point yeah if you if you know what? That's I can't allow great, ignorance in it. Like, you know that's what? my thing. That's such a good point because off topic, but on the same topic, Steve taught me this lesson. It was a very valuable lesson. He used to drive a uh, a Range Rover, right? He drove a Range Rover. Nice one. This was back when it was the the box body. Bubble eye lens. They're kind of bubbly now. I don't really like them now. But no, back in like, like 09, 7, 6, something like that, they had the, it was like box. Them motherfuckers was hard. And he, and he bought one used, but it was still dope. But he also had a Ford Probe, like a 90 Ford Probe. And he bought it for whatever reason. He had So he owned both cars at the time. People, and I would always, and mind you, I was a broke nigga hanging around. He's my homie. And we'd go out. And people would ask him what kind of car you drive. And he would never mention the Range Rover. So, so mind you, <laughs> he owns the Range Rover. And he would own a Ford Probe. And say they'd be like, what do you drive? And he would always be like, oh, it's a Probe, whatever. And then I would always tell him, I'd be like, "Nigga, why are you telling my Bust out the range? You kidding me? You a probe, a mm -hmm. Ford probe, <laughs> nigga?" And he'd be like, "I'll never." Forget. And this is a lesson. And he said this back then. We were young. We were like twenty something, young twenties. And I didn't grasp this until recently, in the last couple of years. He goes, "If you balling, you don't gotta tell nobody you balling." Like the the ballers trying to talk to the other ballers, not the motherfuckers who are beneath them, right. and not not beneath like I'm better, but we get it. The levels, you we know, there's it. levels of this shit. So why am I sitting here like? And there's a, a saying that goes like, uh, "What is it? Lions don't get fucked up by the pain of sheep, or something like something along those lines." I'm fucking it up, but it makes sense. Like, like if I'm a lion, why do I give a fuck what the sheep <laughs> think? Like I'm a lion. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. and he was like, and then real talk. What I've learned, so I work in a restaurant now where motherfuckers, the, the median's probably a hundred grand. Like you do too. Yeah. So we work in places where the people who can eat there can afford to eat there, mm -hmm. right? How often do you see motherfuckers like bougie? Like the word bougie, I feel like I don't see that a lot for niggas who make a lot of money. What do you feel about that? Uh, well, I got a I, bougie has a lot of different. I know, so I know, so, right, right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, to me, bougie means, yeah, acting I, like you have it. Yeah, but what I'm saying is the motherfuckers who really have it, based on where they think they should have it, don't try to act like they have it. They just know they got it, and there's, I don't got to explain to you shit. I, I drive a Ford Probe. Yeah, 
I don't give a fuck what you say. Is it so like for instance, uh I drive a Range Rover and I actually have one and then somebody goes, No, you don't, and you'd be like, Okay. <laughs> like I, I know what I drive. Like yeah. are you kidding me? Like like for instance, my followers or something, this is ridiculous. I'm only saying this to paint the picture. If I was on Facebook and said, I got twenty twenty thousand followers, and somebody would be like, No way. I'd be like, Well, well, yeah, I do, but it's yeah, whatever. I don't have to argue. You I don't got to argue with you because I know what the fuck I got. Yeah, and that's just that's the truth. And I feel like when it comes to money, because there's some niggas who make preach on it. There's some niggas who make twenty million dollars that feel like they should be making the thou- uh, thousand million. That's dumb. <laughs> a thousand hey, million dollars. It. Don't preach on it. But there's a twenty millionaire who's got a fuck ton of money who thinks he should be making a billion, and then when someone asks him how much he makes. He lies about his twenty million. And he adds on another hundred million. Oh, I'm making about uh, hundred hundred million dollars, and then but the truth, and only he knows this, is he only makes twenty. Why is he lying? For instance, we work in a restaurant. How many people have you met over the years that lie about what they make? In our industry, yeah, in our industry, just in general, like like you work in the same place you know average about what they make because you work there you know on about average we all got the same section at the end of the day maybe you make a little bit more because you're a better server but at the yeah. end of the day you we all making the same amount about the same amount I make two th- 250 tonight and you're like nigga no you didn't you know what I'm saying like and, and some people feel the need to lie about that yeah personally you and me be like no you, if you, someone's gonna ask and you want you just tell them the truth oh, I made 75 some niggas will lie about that Mm-hmm. Now, and the reason I'm bringing it up is because I feel like at one point, maybe not silly about money, but I, I lied about my age for years. Why? And to me, it stems from insecurity. Not thinking you, you know, you think you should be a little bit in something that you're not. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Which goes into the whole money thing. So why should I tell a motherfucker... I, I make this or I'm doing this when you you really don't. Right. You know? And that just stems from... And I, again, at the end of the day, this whole podcast is, is therapy. Right? right. At the end of the day. And is that then from dominance then? Or a dominance thought or a dominance... Dominance... Uh, what, do you, what do you mean dominance? Just seeing yourself in a light where you can be... Well, we... Because we, we initiated it with the whole uh, concept of uh, knowing that you're dominant. And owning it. Right, from the original. Versus somebody... Well, I do think it is different in different cultures. I do think there's some real... There's a reason why blacks tend, based on at least what you've been taught, based on the TVs and shit, why we tend as a people to kind of show out and showboat, why we tend to do that more than other races. Right? Would you agree with this stereotype from what you've gathered in your life? What's immediate... most likely a media ploy too to even be I mean, advertised. That's the problem too. It's like, wait, what if you only know that? But uh, to be yeah. honest, but I was a person who literally bought fake Jordans, so I do know that it's a real thing. People, no, it's a real thing that you believe in for sure. You know what I'm saying? I and I, I, if if there's one person that thinks something, I'm there's probably more people who think it. So there's definitely, in my at least in my opinion, people who are out there trying to act like they have more than they actually have. Yeah. There's, yeah, there's, there's so many things Right, about especially that. in America, in that whole celebrity dream, going yeah. back to our original point yeah. of the Hollywoodism, and, and then the idea is you've made it when you hit the American dream and you ball and you got these things. Yeah, and, and that fits right up with the, with culturally what they would say is up our alley. Right? Yeah. And it's and black people, according yeah. to what we've but been be, taught. That's, but that's because the Jewish concept of what they were trying to project, that's pretty much us. That's where we came from. We came from basically... Eastern Europe mm. and had to come to America to try to make this big ass dream. We did that as soon as the shackles were taken yeah, off. Yeah, we might have done it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. We yeah. did the same. So that concept fits so well with us. And that's, you know what I'm saying? The whole rags to riches is just our yes, thing. Yeah, that's you know so what I mean? Us. That's why it's like, then that's where the hood rich concepts come right, about right, and right, shit right. like that, you know? Yeah, because you, you're right. It does say, it does come off as if, not even come off. It is the fact that, let's be honest. People of color in this country are starting behind the eight ball. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, you yeah, see what I'm saying? Course. They're not just black. This who anybody. It might be like hardcore Jewish. I don't know. Maybe not Jewish. That's the wrong. But just if you're uh, uh, Muslim, mm-hmm. 
you came over here and you weren't the first nigga dominating over here and then your people's wasn't the one and and we all breaking that barrier. We breaking those barriers, you know? And it's crazy because it's that that's a real thing. Yeah. Now, there's a part of me that goes, because I'm knowledgeable and have education, like, okay, well, we see that and let's get over it. It's very clearly, all you gotta do is just believe it. And I and I, I preach that. <laughs> I preach that. Just yeah, that's all dumb. It's stupid. It's in your head. Just break it. Most people, even if they believe it to a little degree and not enough to deter you from your life, you can still do what the fuck you want to do in America, at least. I know there's other countries listening. I know shit's different in other countries. But in America, you can kind of, for the most part, you can do what you want to do. Mm. You might be behind the eight ball. <laughs> it might not. It might be right. stacked up against you. It might be a harder fucking journey. But that's just every... That's you can every, pursue it. But you can, you can pursue, pursue it, it, but oh. it doesn't... Yeah. You can pursue it. You can have the opportunity to pursue it. And you're going to have hurdles like a motherfucker depending on who you are. But you have the opportunity but to pursue it. But you can it. do it. But you have the opportunity so, to pursue like, it. So, my, our, so our personality is, yeah, well, yeah, nigga. Well, yeah, your, your shit sucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your <laughs> shit sucks. This nigga, in the, we talked about this before, nigga in the NFL, no arm. Yeah. Born, no arm. I don't know if it's born. He lost it. Whatever it is, he didn't get to the NBA or NFL, no arm. You know what? It's going to be a little harder for you. To make it to the to the and that's highest. what we feed on. That's what gets right. that's what gets advertised. That's everything that's about the, our and concept. Comes, do you think that stems from the yes. Hollywoodism? Yes, yes, yes. And that's just not, it's not even just America no more. No, that's around the globe. That Isn't that crazy? Yeah. <laughs> and and that was Jewish people. Mm -hmm. So the Jewish people. Yeah, but the whole that's ooh, the whole ooh, thing. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> who break it down, baby? <laughs> that's break the whole thing about it because they were Jewish. They were able to do this thing we call assimilation. You know what I mean? They were able to assimilate. So to even gain the masses of this concept and whatnot, you have to look like the part. What do you mean by assimilate? Assimilate meaning, you, which is American concept, well, a concept that they wanted where you can come here and if you assimilate, if you become like everybody else, you lose your language, you lose this, you lose that, you just turn into what we are you as an American part, concept, you good. then you're good. You know what I'm saying? So the Jews, that's why a lot of them, even it's so crazy the concept of this shit, how especially black people are so related to this Hollywood concept. Um, but you think about this, even the, the people who were running it, um, they ended up getting rich, very, very rich. And they ended up leaving their Jewish wives, marrying Protestant, white Protestant women. How, and the whole concept of being like, you get home, hey, get your ass hey, for a white said, girl. Hey, I said that last time. <laughs> I, I, like, white women are the commodity nowadays. It's yeah. fucked up. Yeah, it is. For everybody. Is. Everybody is. think that. Even yeah. the white women yeah, think that. Yeah, it's a concept that's that's built up. But even and that's crazy. And, and, Who is the white women? And they, but they, they're the, they're the one. No, but and they changed their names. I should say to white Protestant names to mm. their last names. So they wanted to do this thing with assimilation. But the thing is, they could do that. Not every minority group can do that. Right. You know what I mean? And they had the means to spread their fucking yeah their vibe. Yeah, they, yeah, this yeah. This is what we talk about, and we run this shit. So this is what y'all gonna see. Mm -hmm. It just so I mean, happened. they built it up. They did. They did build it up, ground up. No, no lie about that. You know what I mean? But when they got it, they it is it's big, and you want to spread it, and you want to do this to it. So your lifestyle is different. You're you're who are you rubbing elbows with now? You're not rubbing elbows with people from the Jewish ghettos anymore. You know what I mean? You were, right. and this is and, a and different time too, that where that, know, that, right. that that dominance, the law was even in like we are the dominant ones. So. Your shit has to project what we, you know what I'm saying, to a certain extent. We got your we got your concepts, but it has to be shown with our type of, you know, gesture. Our and type very of, clearly, that's still very clearly. Very play. clearly. So here's my question to you, devil's advocate. Do you think the end game is everything, men, women, race, no matter what, 100% equal? The end game? The end game. Again, what does that mean? But obviously know, right? something, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> but there's obviously a trajectory of shit's becoming more and more and more and more uh -huh. fluid, right? Like, for instance, uh -huh. th at one point, it was ridiculous to not have a slave. Like, right. well, there was at one point where it was like, how would you not have a slave? Like, like why would you not, not do smart. that? That's not financially why smart. Why would you? You're financially being a fucking <laughs> retard. You know what I'm saying? That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. At one point, that was the thing. Yeah. And then, obviously, that slowed down. And then, at one point, it was... Women vote, right? <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me? Yeah, you think you should be able to vote, right? That was a thing at one point. 
and then and it just keeps getting more. And and now and now the thing is transgendered. What? Yeah. You, you kidding me? You the same bathrooms? And my, my point is, it's very clearly the trajectory is the, the things that we thought as a as a whole maybe not be the way it is, or it's just the agenda that's being pushed. Now you ever, you know what a psyop is? No. I just Google, so I've been listening to some new conspiracy shit. A psyop means a psych. It's a, it's a, I don't know what the word is, but it's a short version of saying psychological operation. It's a psyop. And they have like, like different, that. like for instance, the transgender movement. And this is conspiracy, but like the transgender movement. Would you and I? Would you agree with this statement? Being okay with being transgender is new. Or within the last 10 years. Yeah, of course. Right? Just like before that might have been whatever. Muslims or whatever. And before that was women. Before that was blacks or whatever. So there's these psyops where there's... It, what, I don't know if it's good or bad. I'm not inherently saying it's good or bad. But there's psychological operations to paint a picture. And this is what we all kind of fuck with. So at the present moment, it feels like transgender... Well, not the present moment. It's coronavirus. <laughs> but within the last couple of years... The transgender, a, yeah. you know, and now it's just becoming out. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers' kids coming out, and people have these feelings, and maybe people had these feelings, and that's not what I'm here to debate. My 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 argument, not argument, but my thought is that's something that the media is painting this picture now that this is you need to get on board with this. Mm-hmm. And I've, like I said, I think that there's there's both sides to it. I think there's a real human like action to it and I do think they think that there's a media side to it and those are mm-hmm. specific people that run it but those are people on the ground and I don't want to you know discredit that part of it because there is a there is something throughout history I can't say that everything is conspiracy because like there could be a conspiracy to uh, alleviate black people of their servitude you know what I mean right, 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 and right. but you know what I'm saying and that but that I moment know. directly affected the gen- the transgender movement right now mm. you know what I mean so I can't say that every single moment is conspiracy I do think that agendas are pushed but there's also very human actions that go on as well, too. You know? Right, because it's a real... It's a real world at the end of the day. Like, we do live in a media world, but it is a real world at the end of the day. And there are people actually voting and putting shit on the ground. And there's a lot of land, and there's a lot of bullshit that goes along with that, too. You know what I mean? With the, even people on the ground. But there are... It's, it's two sides. It's a lot of different sides, too. And the media is just one side, and real people are one side, too, though. No, I agree with you. But I, I I will say this. I will say this. There's a lot of... I Coming from your perspective and what you have been taught, and I think that I've been kind of raised the same realm. Yes, 100%. But there's some people who would say, what you think, no. That, no. I know. I know that. And that's just, that's just an interesting thought <laughs> to me. It's like, wow. And so, but who's right? It, to me, it yeah. seems like it's right for us all to be more open minded to do what. Yeah, I think you're. Do. I think what fucks with your mind probably is the concept of being right and wrong. I think that more so than anything is, yeah. is probably the answer. Because and there's no real answer to it. Yeah, yeah, and that's what you're saying too. Like you keep pushing when you don't when you understand that. Even when I feel something in my heart, I'm like, okay, I believe that to kill somebody's wrong. I believe. Yeah, that. but that's still a concept of right and wrong right, right. that you struggle right. with. You know, so and that's I like the nitty gritty. That's that's the nitty gritty. All that shit. Like right. this stuff is just like the the fucking sauce. Up behind it, the visual I should say, but the real problem is right and wrong. What's that? Like t- in my in my yeah, in your head, head. In my personal in your head, head is right, right and wrong. wrong. And like I, I oh, that's ooh, yeah, I think that's you should delve deep. deep into that. Ugh, yeah. That's deep. We diving yeah, deep in my delve brain. Delve deep into that, and I I, I don't even and know I if work you can, on it, brother. I don't know if you can even use like like the concepts that we even talk about, like people and shit, and the way we're moving. Like I think this person killed somebody. That's right and wrong. I think you need to delve deeper into like the concept of. Right and wrong, the history of right and wrong, the you know, like specifically right and Damn, wrong. How, I mean, how do you even begin Get, to start on that? Start it, nigga. I feel like I've been starting it because I work on my brain and trying to fit. And I think the reason, no, I think it seems for if I can, it seems like you're trying to figure out what is right and wrong as far as like which things are right and wrong. Yeah, I feel like you're right versus what is actually the concept of right and wrong. Yeah. Who invented the concept of right and wrong? And that, well, I think that that's ultimately my problem is because right. I don't think no one can invent. You can say this is what these amount of people believe that this was the way we're going to do things. And then these other niggas said, no, nah, we're going to do them this way. And it's just and again, I'm saying this because of the art of 
the podcast. Yeah, for sure. At the end of the day, I'm not going to kill somebody. Right. I tend to do what I believe in my heart is the right thing. But for the art of just let's break it down, let's be vulnerable, down. you know, let, let's really talk. Uh, uh. This is something that I kind of think about now. Again, I, again, I'm just breaking it open, but it's probably very low on my yeah, give yeah, a yeah. fuck scale. This is great talk. This just talk, yeah. Great you know talk. what I'm saying? Great talk. At the end talk. of the day, I don't give a fuck what you think. <laughs> I'm not about to kill somebody, right? Unless I got you know. Which is why I think it's dope for you specifically to delve in the concept of right and wrong. Cause that's like you yeah. really. Where do I, how do I start doing that? Like, where do I just like? What is, bro, it what's is, the first thing to Google? How about this? How do you Google that? Just uh, what is fucking right or wrong? The history of right and wrong. Just type in right and wrong. The thing is, whatever you thought, Chris, somebody else has thought. Thousand percent. You know what I mean? I always say so, that. So type in that shit. You talk about Google a lot. Type in that shit. Yeah. What is, Get in the depth. Hey, why not? That's yeah, why I love history. Like we. If I guess, that's the problem, that's, that, we think. We might have broken it down. That might not even be. I could. What if I was fucking touched as a child? You know what I'm saying? What, my point is, what if there's in this last little hour or two hours, we think we've dived in and it seems like it makes sense, but what if that's really, that's just a smoke screen for something that's really popping? So again, but that's my real problem. I always go to, what if that's not the right way? Even if you found something that made sense, what if that's not the right way? And it goes back to right and wrong. So this is where I got to kill myself. It's right and wrong. I got to kill you. myself. Yeah, it's literally right and wrong with you. Like your obsession with right and wrong. In your head. But I'm okay with being wrong, but I just... Right. But I'm also... It's hard for me to just dismiss so, yeah. someone else's right or wrong. Right. So it's not necessarily bad. It's not even necessarily a bad trait. Right. That's why I was like, it's not necessarily it's bad, not bad at, all. at all. I think it's something that fucks with you, though, and I think like it would personally. be... I think it would be dope for you to really delve into the concept right. of right and wrong, and not even... I want to say who made what we think is right and wrong. That probably actually that would be interesting too, because a lot of that shit is just basically whoever's in power they make what's right and wrong. And once you figure out, once you look through, I never thought about looking that up. Yeah, that's just a great like. Have you ever? Do you know that? Are you even close to remotely un- understanding what right or wrong means? Enough to understand that to be comfortable with for yourself, right? Yeah, but well, for, for I some reason, I need yeah, to right. be more. I need to be more comfortable for whatever reason, right? For some reason, it ain't clicking with me. But that's a great journey, though, man. Interesting. Journey. That's a journey that you can go on for. I mean, I go on journeys every day. Yeah, me too. Me too. I'm yeah, a, yeah I'm I know you journey. do. I know you do. We, I'm always in a fucking we, journey. We journeymen. We like hey, uh, the blues brothers. We kind of like Vince Carter in the league. <laughs> we journeymen. <laughs> yeah, that was, my, that was my boy. He was a journeyman. Hey, already. Don't tell me that. What what you think it is? One, no, it ain't 113. But last time it was 113. It, it was 113 dope. last time. <laughs> but it ain't that far. What is it? 58. That's not bad. I'm down with that. I feel like that's fair based on the fact that we've been talking for four hours because of my dumb ass. <laughs> but but you know we, we you know what's really going to make you not want to fuck with me ever again if we didn't figure it out still? <laughs> that's going to be funny. You're going you, you to act nice. You're going to be like, no, nah, it's cool, baby. But you're going to be like, I can't fuck with this nigga. I'm, no I'm just talking to my homie. That's what I would have been doing anyway. So. Yeah, real talk, real talk. Yeah. And as always, give it to him. Canada! Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.